Hello everyone. In this next video, I have a challenge to capture the awesome beauty of a country that surprised me. I'm talking about Scotland, where I have ancestral roots on my father's side. This is the family Tartan, but that's going to be a separate, separate part of my video presentations, as I'm going to devote an entire video to that aspect of my visit. Do enjoy the awesome scenery and everything else that Scotland has to offer. I must say, while it may not be captured in my video, the people were just incredible. Friendly, fantastic, courteous, my kind of people. Enjoy. We're now in Edinburgh, the capital city, the hilly capital city of Scotland. Behind me is the Edinburgh Castle, which is the seat of the Crown Jewels, and also the Stone of Destiny, which is used for royal coronations. This is a wonderful city from the first impression, and we intend to enjoy it thoroughly before moving on to the rest of Scotland. And where best to start than in one of Edinburgh's lively bars? On Princess Street, down of course in Edinburgh. And I'm just looking at the beautiful buildings at night time. Wow. It's a lovely city. Statue of George IV, who visited Scotland from England. The year is written there, but I've forgotten my Latin. This seems to be a very cosmopolitan city so far, I've heard Many, many languages on the street. Wonderful. There's my beautiful wife and we're waiting for bus 11 on George Street to take us back to our hotel. And it is pretty and I'm home. Are you? Yes. <laughs> this, is in, this is Edinburgh, Scotland, so it's got to be windy. St. Andrew's Golf Club, one of the oldest clubs in the world with their inception in 1843 and they have produced many of the early champions and figures of the game. HMS uniform 
Now a museum ship is one of the oldest ships in Scotland and in the world and one of the last intact warships from the age of sail. Fascinating. Launched in 1901, Discovery was the last traditional wooden three-masted ship to be built in the United Kingdom. So G, let's talk about our impressions of Scotland. First of all, let me just say that we missed our, our flight from Birmingham to Ed Edinburgh because the traffic was so bad. But anyway, what are your impressions so far? Great. Mm. I, I really am enjoying Scotland. Uh, people are very, very friendly. Yes. Also, in true. where we were traveling in England, in the people have been very, very friendly yes. and very helpful. Yes. Sometimes they just overhear you with a query and they well, button. The chap on the bus today when you were talking That's about right. getting off at a certain stop and yeah. he wrote something down That's and handed it to me to make That's sure that right. you yes. got the right bus. Yeah. It, it's, it's just, it's lovely. It, it, it really is great. And what about the scenery? Yeah? Oh, the drive from Edinburgh to Aberdeen where we are right now really lovely rolling hills all the the sheep the, yeah lots the of sheep, sheep yeah yeah um, you even went into a, a broccoli plantation oh yeah that's right were yes i could actually smell the broccoli when they yeah. were reaping it harvesting it right it's nice but it, it, it's it's great isn't it it is it is yeah. it took us a long time to come to scotland but now that we've got a taste and we've got a lot to do mm -hmm. still uh, tomorrow we head off to inverness but it has been great so far. I'm, I'm also wearing my family totem. That's right. Yes, so because I, I have uh, Scottish heritage on my father's side. So good. So and, uh, let's hope uh, that we enjoy the rest of it. I'm sure we will. God willing. Yep. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Hi, love. Driving through Carngorms and the rest of the Scottish Highlands was an absolute pleasure and delight. Although the roads were narrow, there were places where you would pull in to allow the car to pass you in the opposite direction. And this is where we stopped at this bakery coffee shop and made some new friends who were promising to visit Western Canada and we hope to see them then. Farmer carrying the hay. It was extremely windy, and I wasn't too sure how far in I should go. So, this is as far as I went towards Balmoral Castle, where the deceased queen found a lot of solace and where I'm sure the current king 
visits from time to time. The Battle of Culloden took place right here and it was the final confrontation of the Jacobite Rising of 1745. The Jacobite army, led by Charles Edward Stuart, was decisively defeated by a British government force under Prince William Augustus, Duke of Cumberland, on this Trimousie Moor, near Inverness in the Scottish Highlands, where Jeanette and I are staying. As usual, Jeanette selected superb beds and breakfasts throughout our vacation or adventure, but this one here was one of our favorites, called By the Brig in Inverness. We really enjoyed it, and if we ever come back to Inverness, we will likely stay here. One of Scotland's most evocative prehistoric sites, the Clover Cairns are about 4,000 years old and were built to house the dead. We are on the beautiful Isle of Skye and we are heading to that beautiful site behind me. After that, we turn southwest and end up in our bed and breakfast on the west coast of this beautiful, beautiful island. It is spectacular here. And I encourage anybody visiting Scotland to come to the Isle of Skye. We stayed in this tranquil little village called Uig and this is our bed and breakfast where we stayed.
At the entrance to Loch Levin, we chose to stay in this tiny village of Onik before continuing our journey and doing lots of stuff between that village and Edinburgh. So I'm here at Loch Ness, but the monster hasn't appeared. I've looked and looked and looked. It's not here. So on we go. Driving through Glencoe was breathtaking. Tranquil and picturesque, its sculptured hills beckoned the artists. At one point, we were enshrouded in mountain mist as soft white clouds enveloped the beauty. Then a burst of sunshine revealed the stunning panorama of God's creation. A hiker's paradise it was, as many donned their gear and headed to the nearby hills. It's a place to remember and a place to return to. Stirling Castle was the key to the Kingdom of Scotland, dominating a vast volcanic rock above the River Forth at the meeting point between lowlands and highlands. Its origins are ancient and over the centuries it grew into a great royal residence and a powerful stronghold. Later it became an important military base and eventually home to the Argyll and Sutherland Highlanders. Statute of Robert the Bruce next to Stirling Castle. In 1314, the Battle of Bannockburn took place here, 1314, as I said, when Robert the Bruce, King of Scots, defeated Edward II of England in the first battle for independence of the Scots. are the Kelpies, the largest equine structures in the world, which was created for the people of Falkirk to come together and has now become a five-star international tourist attraction. 